When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be hard. Like early 90s heavy metal hard. I'm yelling and screaming and I'm loud. Roar. Geico makes it easy. You can review and update your policy or report a claim on Geico.com or the Geico mobile app. Because shouldn't we all have a little less stress in our lives? I'm not even upset about anything. Blog Talk Radio. Welcome one and all. If you're here to hear Captain Barrington Irvin, you're in the right place. I'm Chris Daly, your host for this fabulous interview. I'd like to thank Miss Holly Pepe, Captain Irvin's publicist, for arranging this interview for us. The interview this evening will be conducted by Miss Denise Maxwell. She's CEO of JK Production, a media production company, and she's also editor of the Jamaican American Club Easing. The goal of this monthly easing is to provide soul nourishment to starving Jamaicans. She hails from Chi Town, Illinois, where she also hosts the Jamaican Diaspora blog and is planning to launch Jamaican Diaspora magazine in the near future. She also produces Caribbean TV World and have also launched. Caribbean Radio World. Let's welcome Miss Denise Maxwell. Hello, and one and all. Conduct these interviews. Hello, one and all. It's a pleasure to have to speak to Jamaicans in the diaspora, and that we get to know each other and network and find out what makes Jamaicans at home and in the diaspora so special. Um, Captain Barrington, Irving, Captain. we yeah. are more than happy to have, we appreciate you coming on board. And um, what we'd like to know is that you celebrated your first anniversary of your mm-hmm. historic flight. Please share the major highlights of this remarkable year with your audience. Well, um, it's certainly been a year. Um, Filled with a lot of awards, a lot of presentations, a lot of uh, accolades and recognition, but uh, even more so, it's been a year filled with uh, having the opportunity to impact so many more students with what we're doing uh, through the Experience Aviation Learning Center and our initiatives. Um, I, I just never imagined, never imagined the amount of lives uh, the flight would have impacted and also what we're doing educationally um, at our center. Uh, you know, to, to be quite honest, I don't know if this will ever fully hit me as far as the accomplishment of the flight and how major it was, but um, I see the effect among other other individuals, and uh, you know, it gives me a great feeling, and I'm just grateful to be alive and just grateful that I was able to do it and, uh, you know, looking forward to doing bigger and greater things. Mm, I see. Aside from the, the technical preparation and training, what is the most important element of your preparation for the journey? Uh, it starts mentally. Uh, it really starts with, with, with uh, from the mental aspect of uh, loving yourself as a person, uh, being determined, um, of course, trusting in God, believing uh, that he'll carry you through, um, having the, the fortitude and the strength to, to embrace rejections and learn from them and, and uh, push forward. Um, yeah, I, I think the toughest the toughest part of the whole process uh, wasn't really the flight, even though that was as challenging as it was with you know storms, sandstorms, icing, all these other conditions and so forth. Um, but the toughest part really started uh, mentally, and I think that mental preparation uh, allowed me to be successful with the flight. Mm, I see. Was there some person or event that was instrumental into making the solo? Around the world trip, the goal. Uh, there, 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 there were a number of folks, number of folks uh, from title sponsors. Um, my first title sponsor, my executive aviation, um, to, you know, to to Holly, uh, spearheading the PR. To there's so many different folks, and and um, you know, the, what what what, and that's one of the things that really made it special. As, as much as it was flying around the world. You know, I felt as if it was bringing all these dynamic people together, uh, not only in Florida, 
but all over the world, literally. And, you know, working with flight planning companies such as uh, Universal Weather and others. I mean, it was an enormous task, and people came in, and they came in at the right time to assist and provide guidance, and and uh, it worked. It worked. Yeah. And, uh, it's kind of like the universe aligned itself so that everything yeah. that you wanted to, to come true, it came true. Yeah. <laughs> Your blog did such a great job in giving us snapshots of your journey from the vantage mm-hmm. point of the heavens. Is there any situation that just, well, simply took your breath away? Oh, man, I, I would say the place that really took my breath away the most was, ha, ha, it has to be uh, Alaska. Really? Um, the, the natural beauty, I mean, the hands down can't be beat. Um, from from the glaciered mountains to uh, the beautiful uh, lakes and so forth. I mean, it's just just naturally beautiful. Um, Alaska needs uh, no no man-made uh, lake or anything like mm-hmm. that incorporated in the land. I mean, it's just a beautiful land, and and uh, from the air, just fascinating. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's so beautiful, but then the terrain is so rugged. Uh, uh, there people utilize planes more than cars in Alaska. You know, yeah, I've heard of that. The terrain is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand that. You were intimately involved with building your airplane, dubbed Inspiration. What motivated that approach to getting such an aircraft? Well, um, you know, originally when, uh, you know, it took two and a half years for me uh, to get my first sponsor. And one of the things that we knew we needed most immediately was an aircraft, and no one wanted to rent me a plane lease my plane, let me borrow an airplane, and, you know, I just decided that, hey, um, what if we went after the individual parts of the aircraft, and what if we got those parts donated, and then have the manufacturer assemble the aircraft, and it was uh, one of my last options, and, you know, it started off slowly, but we got the engine donated by Continental Motors, which was Mm -hmm. pivotal, and and it allowed other folks such as Avidyne and donate the cockpit system, and this is very expensive equipment. Yeah. And, I mean, this is a you know this is a six hundred thousand dollar aircraft. So, um, what what it did was basically cut the cost of the airplane in half with that approach, mm-hmm. and uh, we we were able to finance it, and and uh, that that's how they would get the aircraft. But it was really thinking outside of the box, and you know, and once again, that's why I talk about uh, the mental the the mental aspect of this whole thing, and just being determined and. Right. And, uh, and also helping you to and helping you to be creative. Most yes. people, when they start out businesses, uh, say for example, Steve Jobs, he started in a garage, but look what he was able to do just by being creative. So I don't think you're going to have a problem getting sponsors now. <laughs> Are you planning yeah. to repeat a trip? And what is the most important lesson you've learned from this experience? <laughs> Am I planning to repeat a trip around the world? Uh, yeah, no. why not? No, no. no. I'm, I'm, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm very fortunate to be alive. I, I truly see why the youngest person before me was 37, and I'm, I'm truly blessed to have done it at 23. Um, it's a dangerous flight, and uh, many people have attempted this kind of a flight, and many people have died. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, but just planning and, of course, God leading the way and so forth uh, really made a difference. And, and uh, but I, I will. I'll never. I'll, I'll never do it again. Well, it's okay because I'm sure you're going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for a very, very long time. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll be in uh, Ripley's, and Ripley's, believe it or not, this this upcoming issue. Oh, that's wonderful. We're just so proud of you. What is the most asked questions by youngsters, and how do you respond? It's kind of funny. Uh, one of the most asked questions is how do you use the bathroom <laughs> when, I flew around, when I flew around the world? Yeah, I was so, wondering that too. In the, in the back of my mind, I, I wanted to. I want. I was curious about that as well. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you, you know how how they would do that with the special tubes, but but more importantly, another great question uh, young people ask is is uh, it's actually twofold. One, why, and the second one is, you know, what caused you to believe in yourself, you know, to know that you can do it, knowing where you're coming from, you know, knowing you know, your background and so forth, and, you know, what caused you to believe that you can actually do it. And, um, 
you know, I tell students, you know, it's, it's one thing to dream dreams, and it's another thing to live it. Mm. And uh, the, the only person that can stop you from it is you. And yeah. I truly realize that. I truly realize that. And and uh, although there are many people out there that might tell you no, there will always be that one that tells you yes. And uh, um, I truly believe in that. And, and, I mean, even how I got involved in aviation, you know, this, this uh, Jamaican airline pilot walked up to me out the blue and uh, asked if I ever thought I'd become a pilot, told him I didn't think I was smart enough, and he mentored me, and here I am today, mentoring others. So, I mean, it, it only really only takes that one. and uh, That one spark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just so important to see yourself, and then you just feel um, motivated. What are your goals for next year? Well, um, it, it's about to be revealed to the entire world, but... Uh, there's a project that I designed, um, I began to design while flying around the world. I mean, when you're sitting in the cockpit for, you know, eight, ten hours at a time. And, you have um, some time in your hands. Yes, yeah, you certainly <laughs> have some time on your hands. And uh, well, I tell you, thank, thank God that I, I learned to love myself before I got in that airplane. So <laughs> I spent a lot of time with myself. Mm. But um, um, I designed a project uh, called Building Store. And currently what's going on right now, we're having students uh, build a flyable aircraft. It's a kid aircraft. We're having them build it, and they only have 10 weeks to do it. Uh, wow. Once they're complete with the aircraft, the first test flight, I will fly. Uh, what's amazing about this is that um, I'm not involved uh, in the physical building of the aircraft. The only thing I've done is, you know, design the program, structure it, uh, with with working with others like George P. Baker Aviation and uh, and uh, in, in helping the vision to come through, and these students are building you know the, every bit of piece of the airplane and and um, once they're finished building it, um, I'm going to the first test flight. I'll fly the airplane. It normally takes uh, the average person to build a kit plane at least a year or two years to build a kit plane at least. And you so want them to do it in ten weeks. Yep, and and another great thing about this is um, these are students uh, within the Miami area, and all of these students uh, attend failing schools in Miami. Oh. So, I mean, we've seen some of these kids go from a 1.0 grade point average to 2.0, 2.1 in just nine weeks. Oh, uh, when yeah. We did the after, when we did the after-school program with them, and and uh, now they're doing something remarkable, and, and it's, it's, it's uh, the educational system, uh, Miami-Dade County Public Schools, is designated this as a demonstration school model for the entire nation. So it's exciting, and uh, the whole purpose of doing this is not only to, uh, you know, call attention to the aviation industry but but and, and get these students exposed to careers, but to also develop curriculum content so that we can duplicate this and expand it um, and, and so forth. Well, that is a very ambitious project, and I know that you're going to go very far. Aviation is something that is that that needs to have more diversification into it. Um, one of my heroes uh, is um, Bessie Coleman. Bessie she, Coleman. Yes, um, she was. The, this was around the '30s. She was not allowed to get her. She's an African American. She wasn't allowed to get her plane license here, so she had to go to France. Mm -hmm. And um, she she inspired me because she didn't let gender stop her. She didn't let race stop her. She was just a driven woman. And um, that's definitely uh, an inspiration for me. Also the Tuskegee Airmen and the things that they had to go through, but nevertheless they proved themselves. And I, and I... And what you find when you look at the stories of, say, the Tuskegee Airmen, Bessie Coleman, we even have um, Captain Maria Zadi, who is a modern-day Amelia Earhart. She's Jamaican and Air Jamaica's first female pilot that reached captain in 1996. The thing that you find when you read their biographies or read their stories, and even yours, you find that you've, um, it's inner strength that takes you places, and a lot of people... If they see that, then um, they're inspired to do not only aviation but many other positive things. And we're very, very proud of you. And um, we truly thank you for spending some time with us. And, oh, um, no. 
that, yeah. And and for the people on the internet land, if they would like to see see your website, your website is uh it's experienceaviation.org. That's experienceaviation.org. Mm-hmm. And uh if if you can't find it, just type my name Barrington Irvin and you know, it'll it'll certainly pop up. But it's experienceaviation.org. Oh, Will, we truly thank you for spending some time with us. Have a nice day. Oh, no, thank you for having me. (laughs) All the best to you. Thank you. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. Like Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to geico.com and you can save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your moves. 